Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, Bluetooth relay board that I have up on Kickstarter right now, link below, uh, to not only activate a door solenoid, but uh, to control AC devices using the relay. Now it's really easy, but I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tutorial on how to do it. It won't take long, I hope I can keep your attention. What you're going to need in addition to the relay board is a uh, an AC line cord. Now this is a two wire AC line cord without ground. I got it from the dollar store uh, and I'm going to modify it. Now one thing you're going to want to know is how to distinguish between the hot and the neutral. Uh, now you can use either to switch power, but um, uh, electrical code says that you should be using the hot wire. Uh, and in any case, on any AC line cord, there is a wide uh, pin and a narrow pin. Narrow is hot, and that's the one we're going to be using. And wide is uh, neutral, so uh, uh, thin, hot, wide, neutral. And what we're going to do is I'm going to be cutting one of these wires in half. Uh, I'm essentially going to be splitting it down the middle to separate the two wires. I'm going to take the hot wire and I'm going to cut it in half and strip back about uh, five millimeters of insulation on each side. And then we're going to connect it to the relay board. So I've severed the wire and I've uh, stripped back the insulation. Now what I'm going to do, just for the sake of knowing for certain that I've cut the hot wire, I'm going to take my multimeter, set it to continuity checking mode, and I'm going to take the wire, side of the wire that's still connected to the male pins and I'm going to check the hot wire and there's continuity. So that's the hot, the thinner wire pin and here is the neutral which is the thicker pin which is still completely intact. Now when we connect, when we connect these to the relay, um, the relay is not going to have them connected until the relay is activated at which point they're going to reconnect those pins. So let's connect it to the relay. We're using relay one right now for our uh, solenoid lock. So we're not going to use relay one. We're going to use relay two, three, or four. Uh, I'll use uh, four just because I want to, I guess. <laughs> um, each relay output terminal block has uh, three terminals uh, labeled NC, CO, and NO. Now, when the relay is off, the CO pin, the common pin, is connected internally to the NC pin, the normally closed pin. When the relay is activated, the common pin disconnects from the normally closed pin and connects internally to the NO pin, the normally open pin. So when we turn the relay on, if we have one of our wires in the common pin, uh, in the common terminal, and our other wire in the normally open terminal, what's going to happen is it's going to reconnect those two lines together, and that will uh, that will offer power to our uh, AC device, in this case, a lamp. So I'm going to make those connections, and then we're going to connect it. We're going to uh, power a lamp wirelessly via Bluetooth. Make sure that the terminals are very tight, and that no, no, no insulation is showing on the other side of the terminal block. Now, once you plug in power, once I plug this into the wall, power will be applied here. And you want to make absolutely certain that you don't go anywhere near this uh, the, the, this relay terminal block because once you plug it in, it is live. Once you're done with your project, unplug the AC line cord. This is important. If you have low low, low DC voltage on here, you're not going to hurt yourself. But as soon as you plug it in, plug the uh, AC line cord into the wall, if you start dinking around in this area, you can really, really hurt yourself, give you a, one hell of a shock. So just be very, very careful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my AC line cord. I'm going to plug a lamp into the female end here. I'm going to make sure that the lamp is actually turned on. Uh, the power switch on the lamp is on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up. I'm going to open the uh, my uh, the Robo Remo app, and I've created my own UI so I can control all four of these relays wirelessly. I've now got my lamp plugged in. Now all I have to do is plug in the AC line cord and power up my device, and then connect to it via Bluetooth. My AC line cord is plugged in, my uh, Bluetooth relay board is plugged in. As you can see, the receiver is blinking, so we have not connected to it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my RoboRemo app. I'm going to, I've already uh, created my UI. I'll be making a tutorial showing you how to make uh, your own UI. Menu, connect, Bluetooth, uh, turn Bluetooth on, yes. Uh, select device, HC06. That's my Bluetooth receiver. On select port 1, 
Watch the LED. Okay, the LED on the receiver has stopped blinking. We have connected. So, I'm in momentary mode right now. And that is relay four. I've got my lamp on. I'll show you that in just a second. But again, relay one, relay four. Now I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to place this in uh, latching mode and I'm going to show you the lamp. Okay, so relay four. And I am powering an AC lamp. So now I'm going to walk out of the room and to the other end of the house. And I'm going to continually turn this on and off wirelessly. Excuse me for a minute. On. Off. On. Guys, about eight to ten meters away. I can connect to it from there. I connected to it here. It doesn't really matter, but it's that easy to to create to uh, control AC devices wirelessly using your Android phone uh, and this Bluetooth relay board. So if you haven't already, please check out the Kickstarter link below. Uh, we're about two thirds of the way there. Twenty days left in the campaign. I would really, really like to have this. Uh, to have this uh, campaign funded and I could really use your help. So thank you very much. Have a great day and thanks for watching.